which revolutionary was on parole for so long that eventually he just gave up and quit the Continental Army. Hi Founder fans, Jason here, and today we'll be discussing Lambert Cadwallader. Now yesterday we discussed his brother John Cadwallader and I thought it would be fun to follow up with Lambert. So Lambert and John were born and raised in New Jersey, but they made their names as merchants in Philadelphia where they both made a small fortune. When the Revolutionary War broke out, they both joined up and Lambert decided to go and join the Continental Army, and he did and was commissioned as a lieutenant colonel. He went north to help the army, and during the Battle of Long Island, which is also known as the Battle of Brooklyn and several other things, uh, but we call it the Battle of Long Island on this channel, <laughs> during the Battle of Long Island, Lambert Cadwallader was stationed as commander of Fort Washington, and he was in this situation when the British, or more accurately, the Hessian soldiers, attacked and conquered the fort, and during this time, Lambert was taken captive, and he was held as a prisoner for some time. Now, he was really held fairly briefly compared to most of his contemporaries before he was paroled, and we need to stop for a moment here and talk about parole during the Revolutionary War, especially with the British paroling American soldiers, because right off the bat, most low-level soldiers were kept as prisoners for quite some time, and many of the men who were fighting under Lambert Cadwallader were kept on the uh, prison ships in New York Harbor, which were a terrible place and it is, can be argued that most of the deaths of the battle took place there, uh, although another argument can be made that most of the deaths of the Revolutionary War were taken by disease, uh, but either way, prison ships, not a great place. However, some people were fortunate enough to get paroled. Now this had a lot to do with your station, uh, your rank, as far as your place in the army, it had a lot to do with who you were as a citizen, had a lot to do with what was going on at the time, and it had a lot to do with the location you were in. For example, many of people who were paroled throughout the war were paroled locally, and they were said, you can go about your day in Savannah, but can't go anywhere else. Lambert was one of the people who was fortunate because he was given a general parole where he could just go home or wherever in the world he chose. All he couldn't do was fight again against the, the British Army. Now, this was a time where honor was very important. Lambert Cadwallader considered himself uh, an officer and a gentleman, quite literally, where he p swore he would not fight until he was exchanged for someone else. And he kept this word. Most people did. You might be surprised to find out. Most people who were said, go home, didn't just go back and join the Continental Army. They went home. Uh, although a big part of that was if they were caught a second time, they would probably be hung or executed in some other fashion. But either way, uh, Codwilder goes home, although Philadelphia was being occupied by the British by this point. So he went back to New Jersey and he would end up staying in New Jersey for the remainder of his life. Now, he expected to be exchanged for someone else, but neither the Continental Army nor the Continental Congress were able to find an officer uh, that w was captured from the British Army who had the same relative rank or status as Lambert Cadwallader. So he just never got exchanged. And getting pretty tired of waiting, Lambert decided to just resign from the Continental Army. And this he did, and he went back to private life. But he would serve his country later, because after the war ended, he was actually elected to serve in the Continental Congress, which we know now, after the Articles of Confederation, of course, was the uh, uh, Congress of the Confederation. But we can call it the Continental Congress. That's what they called it. And he would stay there for a while, and even after the Constitution was ratified, be elected as an inaugural member of the United States House of Representatives. And Lambert Cadwallader is one of the few founders who had the opportunity to be in the United States government as we know it today when it was originally launched. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I certainly did. If you really liked it, please hit like down below. And if you're new here, definitely subscribe. I'm stumbling on my words a little bit now, but that's because it's Friday. It's the end of the week. That means tomorrow is our weekly live video at 3 o'clock. So please, please, please subscribe to the channel. Remember to come back tomorrow at 3 because we have about an hour conversation where we discuss the articles I wrote in the past week and talk about new things and learn together. So thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you tomorrow.